Folks, this guy's been just semi-awake for the last few months. And he's open to the idea of 9-11 being an inside job. He went and printed them leaflets. He did this piece. And he puts it well. When did it become uncool to ask questions? It's never become uncool in my book. Okay, we're asking questions here. And these questions have never been answered. I mean, no one is touching. No one's touching Sabelle Edmonds talking about bin Laden, the Taliban, and al-Qaeda being closely interconnected with the CIA, up in our intelligence, up until the day of 9-11. All right, we're going to take your phone calls after this. We're going to go to Thomas, Dan, Timothy, Richard, Ken, and more. It's the Info Warrior. All right, folks, we are back. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis every Sunday, 6 to 9 Central, here at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Obama to seal U.S.-U.N. relationship. If there was any doubt that this is about globalization, this is about global global power, global governance. Barack Obama will cement the new cooperative relationship between the U.S. and the United Nations this month when he becomes the first American president to chair its 15-member Security Council. No discussion, no debate, no real papers printing this as if it's a bad thing. Okay? This is off the Financial Times online. U.N. officials hope a climate change debate on September 22nd will give fresh impetus to the search for a global climate deal at Copenhagen in December. See, Barack Obama is here to bring you through it all, to bring you through the collapse of the dollar, to new global regulations on carbon, to fix the, the climate is so bad. It's so bad, it's going to get so hot. Meanwhile, scientists, mainline scientists are saying global warming is over and global cooling is here. Obama to seal U.S.-U.N. relationship. There it is right there. No one's talking about it, and we need to be. See, I'm surprised. That's not, I, I read this lashing out at the Capitol, the Washington Post. There's a bunch of well-meaning people, you know, going to this thing, speaking about the Constitution. Now they're, you know, waving the don't tread on me flags. That's good. But who's promoting it? Glenn Beck, it's 912. Oh, it's part of my movement. And most of these people don't want to come off as extremists. See, they make sure to put that in there because if you think outside the box, if you go beyond being a conservative who's not that happy with the GOP, well, you get out of their paradigm. It is nice to see so many people out there. And they did make a mention of the, uh, the Joker posters. They said that, you know, the famous Joker poster with the socialism on it was all over the place. And we can thank Infowars.com for that. It was our campaign that really pushed it over the top, put it into local towns, small cities, big cities all across the country. And you, the listeners, made that happen because you have great power. It's just like that article we read outside of the BBC in London. Those 150 people have great power. They're exposing 9-11 for what it is, a great lie that has led us into the Middle East now. For almost eight years. Almost eight years. Yes, we, we're at the eighth anniversary of the attacks. But in October, it will be eight years since we've been in Afghanistan. And now they're trying to punk you and tell you that we're there because it's actually gotten worse. No, we're there because we like their resources and we like the Anglo-American military industrial complex influence there to build their new world order, which they announce in Yahoo this week. This week, that's a huge headline. It's just like, ah, economic crisis brings in new world order. <laughs> it's a big joke. And actually, there's a comic book we're going to be going over later that is called New World Order that's that's put out by Agent Provocateur. And it's a bunch of these, like, we might not even be able to show you some of the, the outfits these girls are wearing. I mean, they're absolute risque. They're acclimating the children that it's cool to be an Agent Provocateur. The New World Order is hip. It's happening. All right, I promise I take your calls. Let's... uh. Let's jump to some callers. Let's go to Thomas in New Jersey. Thomas, you're on the line. Uh, yeah, Jason, regards. Um, I got some real bad news, man. Uh, the fat lady of the New World Order is about to sing. Um, it's, uh, it's all about these, uh, these polymers, the black, black polymers. They can uh, take a, a, some film, a polyfilm and a solution in a lab and uh, resurrect it. Uh, through a different solution, aqueous uh, solution. I'm not really and following you here. How? What, what's going on here? How is this the crescendo to the new world order? What, 
polymers? And yeah, this is pretty much their last card. Um, it's living plastic. They can take a uh, poly or a plastic and they can resurrect this plastic and it's little plastic fibers. Yeah, but you know what? And, and thank you for the call. They've been doing that for years. I mean, if you watch the corporation, one of the first things that they did was they created this like bioorganism that would eat up oil and they said that you couldn't patent life. If you want to talk about really scary, how about human tissue can be taken for human animal embryo experiments without consent? And that's been going on for decades. Yeah. He's talking about more gallons. Uh -huh. Some of that's real, a lot of it's disinfo. Oh, I've heard a lot. Yeah, exactly. Some of that's real, a lot of it. Thank you, Mr. Jones, because come on. We got to live in the real world here. Here, people are about to take squalene and mercury shots for the piggy flu. That isn't even the piggy flu. I'm a little more concerned with that. Something that's three types of flu: H5N1, H1N1, human flu virus. And then people say, "Well, it looks like it could be made in a lab." And they try to tell you that pigs gave it to us, but then humans are found with it before the pigs. And then they blame pigs in Canada. It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? I'm more concerned with that, sir. We're going to talk to Dan, Timothy, and more. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmes, PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com.